The minaret is uh, the most important monument in Iraq, and also you can uh, uh, you can see that the name of Al Mosul, Mosul Al Hadba, referring to this minaret, Al Hadba Minaret, and also you can see the picture of the Al Hadba Minaret in one of the uh, currency of of Iraq. The most difficult uh, challenge uh, is to is to take the decision how we will rebuild the minaret from zero to re to to remove everything all to or to 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 leave this uh, remaining part and to rebuild a replica or what so for that we make like a questionnaire for the people of Mosul about 94 percent of the people of Mosul wanted the minaret to 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 rebuild where it was, as it was, and also with the same decorations, with the same inclination. So for that reason, uh, the decision has been taken is to consolidate the remaining part of the, of the minaret, which is the, which is the most uh, difficult and most important part because all the, the cylindrical shaft will sit on this base. So to, co uh, to, to, to be sure that the minaret will stay also another 1,000, 2,000 years, we need to consolidate the base in a perfect way, especially for this minaret because it has been built in 1173. So it's about 850 years of, uh, of, of history. Also, it's famous because it's leaning. Uh, its inclination was about 2.58 meters from the central of, uh, of gravity of this minaret. And this uh, inclination was unstable. It's continuous moving. After the destruction, after 2017, uh, no more uh, 50 meters uh, stay. What, what is remaining? Only about 20 meters. So our partners, Ministry of Culture, did like uh, an excavation around the minaret until we reach the foundations of the, of the, the end of the foundations of the minaret. And we saw that, the, that the, the soil under the foundations is so weak. So for that reason, uh, a lot of uh, movement and also some torsion, according to the research, happened to the to the base of the minaret, and this leads like uh, to make a big cracks along the the shaft, along the base, and uh, for that reason the movement happened and the tilt increase. But what we will uh, do is to rebuild the minaret in cleaning again, also with the same decorations. Actually, uh, the minaret has uh, like uh, a base, rectangular base, with four faces, four different decorations. So four b faces with the, every face with uh, significant uh, decorations. And also for the shaft, we have uh, seven layers of decorations, seven different layers of decorations. And also we discovered during the rubber removal and uh, documenting documentation the historical uh, pieces of the of the minaret, we face that they use, for example, shaft, same shaft in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the in all layers, but with different uh, dimensions. So for that, when the person uh, see the upper part of the minaret, uh, they will put the big one, the big dimensions of the of the of the shaft, Where, and for the lower part, they put the the. The, the the pieces with with uh, little di dimensions to so to to see the perspective what we collected from the rubber removal is about 45000 pieces of bricks that belongs to the minaret uh, but the problem is that these bricks are not so strong to 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 reuse like a structural part so the decision made in order to save the value of these uh, bricks is to cut them to form the decorations of the minaret, because we missed a lot of the of the pieces of the decoration. Uh, now UNESCO, in collaboration also with the Minister of Culture, now cutting the bricks after documenting all the pieces that we uh, have in the deco in the decoration. Uh, so after uh, we consolidate the uh, the base, when we will start with the reconstruction, all the decoration faces, all the external face, will be originally. The other challenge uh, to make it inc inclined again, because also not not only uh, like uh, moving in one side, but also in the other side it's uh, decreasing when we because uh, it's it's not like uh, syndical with one dimension. 
syndical with uh, the, the different dimensions until we reach the top of the minaret. For example, the, 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 the diameter of the external shaft uh, it decreases from 5.33 till about uh, 4.9. So we need not only to make it inclined, but also to decrease the dimension until we reach the top of the minaret. So for that reason, what we, what we do now is to build a sample of the minaret, scaled one to one, about two meters, to, to know very well how to deal with the, with the, with the inclination, how to do with, de with degrees in the other direction, how to build and to connect the internal core with the external core, how to uh, rebuild the, the stairs, how to build the window. So, and after, after we finish this sample, we will document everything, every stage. So in the, phase, in the next phases, phase three, uh, now we are knowing how to reconstruct the minaret. And also in the same way, now we are training the masons on how to deal with, with the bricks. What we discovered also uh, by Minister of Culture during the excavations, uh, we discovered the original prayer hall because uh, the, the prayer hall of the Nuri has many interventions during the years. The last uh, interventions was done in 1944. They removed the, the prayer hall and they rebuilt another, uh, another prayer hall. But they used the original marble. The marble is type of alabaster. Uh, producing locally in Mosul from the mountain ar around Mosul. Uh, they, re they, they saved the, the original pillars, original arches, original mihrab, and they removed all the prayer hall and they rebuilt the prayer reusing these original pieces. Uh, what we discovered during the excavation is the original floors of the original prayer hall. And uh, also during the excavations, we found some holes in the ground we uh, remove uh, the rubbles and we found four rooms under the original prayer hall. Uh, these four rooms was used for ablution uh, before praying. Uh, so uh, what we will do is to uh, cover the part of, the, of, the, of these uh, discoveries by glass uh, and also during the prayers, uh, during the prayer time, it will be covered by fabric uh, to, to make the space for the prayers to, to pray. In addition to that, uh, we will make like a two stairs leading to, 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 the, to the prayer, to, to the original uh, floors, and also from the original floors, we, we will uh, go to the rooms, and from the rooms, we will go from the other stairs. Uh, the other stairs, it, uh, the external, the exterior stairs, will lead directly to the minaret. So it will be like a very beautiful view.